Stop the FOMO. Do you ever fear missing out on a 98-inch TV that's only $3,000? Yep, the wave of super large TVs, 100-inch class, is coming in 2023. And it begins with a 98-inch TCL 6 Series for $3,000. Okay, $3,012. What's $12 between friends? And it's technically not known as the 6 Series, but the Q10G in China. This Q10G is all but the 6 Series in name only. Let's see, it shares the same mini LED, same number of dimming zones. So if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, the question then is, should you start measuring your wall to see if it's worth the upgrade? But don't worry, sit on back. We'll be comparing the immersions to see if it's worth upgrading for some big games coming up this year. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, at the bottom, select Update and Security. Select activation, then select change product key, paste what you copied from WhoKeys, click next, click activate, and you're done. You can download the Windows 10 Pro key and you're up and running. But that's not all folks. WhoKeys has keys for games too. Steam, Origin, Uplay, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. Today, we're going to cover the essentials to help you daydream about a 98-inch TV. How much more immersive are these larger TVs? What about image quality? What are you sacrificing when you go from a 65-inch TV to a 98-inch TV? And of course, all the other drawbacks that come with a 98-inch TV. So let's start with immersiveness. The answer is obviously yes. Going from a 65-inch to 98-inch is literally huge. But more importantly, if you enjoy that full, full viewing angle, we're talking how far away should you be sitting from a 100-inch screen or a 100-inch TV? For me, 9 or 10 feet, spot on. Anything closer than nine feet is a bit too close for me, but others actually sit seven or eight feet away, like maybe Youth Man. He sits quite close to his big screen TV, while some of you would prefer to sit about 12 feet away from a 100 inch screen, but without a doubt, 100 inches definitely brings you more immersion. You're sold under immersion. Now the question is, well, what about the projector option? Specifically, ultra short throw projector, which is exactly what I did with an ultra short throw projector I had on hand. I'm currently reviewing the Hisense PX1 Pro, and that one I set to 98 inches, similar to 98 inch TV, to compare the immersion, but on image quality, without a doubt, it just does not compare to a real TV. I mean, specifically, watching HDR content is where projectors fall short, even ultra short throw laser projectors. Now in SDR content, like the Big Bang Theory, looks fine. So clearly for HDR content with a lot of shadow detail or even dark SDR scenes, nothing compares to a real TV in terms of the black levels. But for brighter scenes like the Big Bang Theory and SDR, it's absolutely fine. The issue though is really cost. If the Q10G in China for $3,000 comes to the USA as the 6 series next year, $3,000 Clearly, this is a better deal because if you add up the projector and the screen, there is no way it's going to match an image quality between projector and screen and a $3,000 98-inch TV. There are drawbacks with the TV. Namely, there are three things, really. The biggest one is DSE, dirty screen effect, uniformity. The biggest drawback of these super large TVs, the question is whether you care or not because the immersion just may overwhelm you and you don't care about slight uniformity issues or maybe serious uniformity issues. And secondly, 
energy consumption, we are talking about over three times more energy consumed. For example, the TCL XL this year, it uses over three times more energy than an 85 inch Samsung QN90B. And another drawback is replacement warranty service. Imagine taking the TV off the wall and putting it in a box. Now, if you go to a retailer that offers that as part of the service, meaning they come to your house, they take it off the wall, and then they take it back with them, like Best Buy Total Tech Support, great. And if Costco offers that service, make sure you confirm with their warranty package. But at the end of the day, no one wants to be taking back a 100-inch TV or 98-inch TV in a box, taking it in and out. I mean, it's just a nightmare. But let's talk about the pricing specifically. How come in China, this TCL 6 Series equivalent, right? Same dimming zones as our 6 Series, but they call it the Q10G there. And at 98 inches, they have over 600 dimming zones. I mean, this sounds like an amazing TV. And yet here we get the TCL XL Series that's over $8,000 with significantly less dimming zones. USA XL Series, under 200 dimming zones. China's Q10G. 670 dimming zones, $3,000, $8,000. What gives? The obvious answer, we're being overcharged. <laughs> There's no way around it. So they're trying to get away with charging you $8,000 for what is clearly an inferior TV from what they have in China for $3,000. So I know in the next few years, when we start getting these 98-inch size TVs, they will be just over $3,000. Which leads me to the question for you. If prices continue to fall, do you have room for a 98-inch TV? At $2,000, is that compelling? $2,500? What's it going to take? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stop the FOMO.